It's the little things that remind you of the giant mosaic that's life. From a tiny seed grows a mighty tree. From strangers to best of friends. We're all connected to life, linked to one another by visible and invisible threads. It's a moment like this when you realize that human connections is what give us strength. If we work together, we can achieve just about anything. So in the next half an hour, we're hoping to inspire the very same thing in these children by fostering connections, by working as a team, and affecting real change for their future. Welcome to the Voices of Asia. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. We depend on each other for small things. We create a connection between each other so we can live in a world where anything is possible. This social initiative by Asiata began with a simple question. What would the children of Asia do to help their communities? From Sri Lanka to Singapore, Malaysia to Cambodia, India to Indonesia, Bangladesh and back, we heard as many different answers as there were children. I want to help the needy to give them a good food and to make them happy. But one thing was clear. The kids felt a deep connection and a strong sense of responsibility to their communities. For some, community meant their immediate family, their nearest and dearest. But for these boys, their immediate family is not the one they were born with. And it's with them, that our story really starts. Ten-year-olds Benny and Adit are among the many who have lost their parents and are now living under the care and protection of the SOS Children's Village in Jakarta. In this unique family-oriented orphanage, there are a total of 15 homes where up to 10 children are looked after by a surrogate mother. These 15 families in turn form a tightly knit community that play, learn, and depend on each other for support. For Benny and Adit, helping their community naturally meant giving back to their extended surrogate family. The really cool thing about this idea for me is we're not just engaging these kids' imaginations. We're here for Benny and Adit to try and make these ideas a reality. I think they're going to be so excited. It's really nice here. Very nice, I like it. Thank you. It's always like this in SOS Village. Really? Green and peaceful. Well, when I was turning up here at the SOS Village, I realized what a special place it was and how easy the kids smile and uh, just the energy of the place. And I was so happy that we were here to do something, at least a little something to try and help. The boys is waiting for you. Really? Yeah. They know that you will come in, but they don't know why. Right. So it will be the big surprise for them. Okay, cool. Yeah. So can I meet them? Yes, of course. Let's meet them. Okay, cool. They are very cute boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Adit! Hi! Apa kabar? Adit? Kenalin? Oli. How you doing? How you doing? Benny? How you doing? I'm Oli. You've got the shy face. Adit, you're not shy, are you? You got a... Kamu nggak malu ya? Oli nanya, kamu pikir kenapa Oli ada di sini? 
pengen membahagiain kita semua, pengen mengajak main. Oh, he think that you come to make him happy, play with him. This is true. I have come for that. And another. Maybe we can play football later. Mau diajak main bola abis ini. Gerege juga gemas lihat tingginya, lihat mukanya kocak. Tapi kalau dari jauh kelihatannya kayak Cristiano Ronaldo. Kelihatan dari kayak Cristiano Ronaldo. Saya nggak tahu dia jago main bola apa enggak. What about you, Benny? Why do you think I'm here? Jadi teman. Huh? Jadi teman. To make a friend with him. To make a friend, yeah. yes, as well. You are both right, but there Tapi, is something else. I have a very special surprise ah, for both of you. Ada special surprise, katanya. Do you want to? Do you know what it is? Kamu mau tahu nggak apa? Mau. Mau? Do you want to see? Mau lihat? Mau. Okay, come with us. We're going to show you. Then we'll play football. Oh, okay. <laughs> So what you said about the clinic, it gave us an idea. <laughs> this is the SOS Children's Village in Jakarta, a place where 138 orphans call home. Aziata has sent me here on a mission to meet these two boys, Benny and Adit and help them realize their dreams of helping their community. Saya ingin membangun rumah sakit di sini agar siapa yang terluka dapat tertolong dan tidak perlu biaya. So what you said, what you said about the clinic, it gave us an idea. We want to do something very special with your library. We want to make it all brand new. And we're going to call it the Experiential Lounge. Kita akan membuat sesuatu yang spesial dengan perpustakaan ini, tapi kita akan buatnya semuanya baru. <laughs> Kata Bu Mitra, katanya dia pengen ngubah ini, lantainya diganti, atapnya diganti, semuanya diganti, jadi baru. Aku langsung kaget. We're also yeah. going to get all sorts of new sort of science books. Yeah. We're going to get science things that you can learn. That we're also going to have a big sort of map of the world. Jadi intinya, uh, Oli dan teman-temannya akan bikin satu tempat di mana kamu sama anak-anak SOS bisa belajar dan mungkin nanti waktu Adit udah besar bisa bikin klinik sendiri. Namanya klinik klinik apa? Adit klinik. Oh, klinik. <laughs> You can put your shoes Kita on. Sebelas. But we're not Kita going sebelas. far. We're just going here. We're just going next door. Wouldn't it be yeah. cool if we gave you one brand new computer with high-speed internet? Computer baru dengan internet yang sangat cepat, katanya. You like that? Okay, what about if we gave you 12? Pas aku kaget, si Benny diem aja. Aku dari dalam hati aku, Ah, pasti Benny nggak yakin. Ah, aku juga nggak yakin nih. But Benny, 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 I haven't forgot about you. Oh, Oli nggak lupa tentang kamu, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're smiling. <laughs> Saya ingin membangun tempat menggambar agar bisa dipakai oleh teman-teman. Kenapa itu penting, Ben, buat kamu, Ben? Agar orang yang menggambar di tempat sini mm -hmm. bisa menjadi kelas dunia. Oke, okay, yeah. Benny, come on in. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This room is going to become a very special room for you. Okay, we're going to call it the Expressive Lounge. Huh? We're going to get you all sorts of new drawing and painting equipment, okay, for you yeah. and everybody else here. Kaget juga sih. Kaget juga aku diem. Then over here, we're going to have a big place where you can display all your artwork in the oh, corner. Dan ini adalah tempat untuk kamu jadi kreatif ya. Suka? Suka. <laughs> When I uh, took the kids to the spaces and told them what was going to happen, their faces lit up. But the cool thing was was that they they wanted to help. They they couldn't wait to get it started. And then they ran off and they they found a bunch of their friends and they were telling them. Teman-teman, sini dah. Hey, you know what's going to happen? They're going to they're gonna bring computers, they're going to bring books and stuff. And they marshaled them into the room, and then like everyone suddenly was helping carry the stuff out. It became this whole big group thing. They could have just taken ownership themselves, you know, Adit and Benny, 
they could have said, all right, this is our thing, it's our project, we're here, they're here because of us, but they took it out and they found the other kids and made it very much a community project. This is a very interesting project because this is a very good example how adults really listen to the voice of the children and implement it. This is something which is amazing. So as you can see, the kids are very excited about what we're going to do, but we have a lot of work still to go. Come on, everyone, wave. Say hi, bye. Up next, the fun really starts when the kids are in charge. <laughs> Big changes are happening at the SOS Children's Village in Jakarta, thanks to the dreams of these two little boys. Benny and Adit's vision of a brighter future is quickly taking shape, and the boys are right in the thick of the action. The kids were always trying to help. They were getting into everything. I did it out of nowhere, trying to paint the ceiling. You ready? Go. I found a, a project for them, which was painting outside. We had the, the wall at the back, and we had it taped off. Ben and Adit ran off. They found sort of seven or eight of these adorable kids. Rina, mau bantuin kita enggak? Tapi kamu ganti baju yang, yang bekas, 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 yang kotor juga nggak apa-apa. Soalnya nanti Udah takutnya kotor. itu kena cetnya. Iya, cepat lah. Hello, Hello Kali. They came in. I gave them instructions, and let's be honest, none of us really speak the same language. Out of nowhere, they absolutely took to it like like fish to water. I think the most important thing to achieve in these spaces is making sure that, first and foremost, the children recognise these spaces as belonging to them, that these spaces are something that they've helped to create. Not only is it students' ideas coming into life, but it's them having an active role to play in participating in the construction of this new learning centre. And I think that's a really important aspect of this project. So we're pretty much done, 95% um, of it, by the kids. Though my 5% was useful, it's the dad volume that all dads know, which is the dad voice. You don't actually have to say anything, they'll just all stop and then go back to doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everyone actually, apart from Adit, who just kind of floats to his own tune, so he's already started the next one, found himself a chair, I'm just, you know what, Adit, uncontrollable, just let him do it. Just let him do it, it'll be fine. In the end, was it perfect? No. But does that make it slightly better? Yes. In my opinion, it's got character. They've got their own part of the wall that as they grow up and as other kids turn up here, they'll be able to say, this is the bit we did. We painted this wall. This is ours. And that's kind of the whole point of this, really. You know? We want them to feel like it's theirs. Aku, perasaan aku hari ini sangat gembira, senang, gak bahagia karena saya melihat ada perbedaannya. Berharap nanti mudah-mudahan berhasil dibuat menjadi kayak seperti yang saya mau. Menurut saya, adanya renovasi TK, renovasi perpustakaan itu sangat bagus dan uh, itu sangat bermanfaat. Memang sebelum uh, direnovasi itu, Anak-anak juga kurang minat ya, dalam arti minat baca, terus minat untuk apa, mendalami keinginan mereka. Nah, adanya renovasi ini saya merasa bangga karena Adit berperan untuk bisa di sini untuk lebih maju lagi demi masa depan anak-anak. No, no. Ini empat episode ini. lagi. Ya, lagi kita lagi Waktu malam itu, saya ngajak Kaoli agar bisa mengingat muka lucunya. <laughs> Orangnya kocak, yang pas lagi ngelukis, terus mukanya di, di beda apa, kayak disuruhnya kayak gini. Iya. Nama kayak gini. 
Bisa kayak gini? Iya. Ini kan kayak gini. Bisa kayak gini? Ayo. Mama ke atas. Ada kayak gini deh. Nuh, nuh, nuh. Lucu dah pakai gerakannya. <laughs> Makanya saya suka dengan Kak Uli. Saya nggak mau berpisah dengan dia. Stay with Benny and Adit and watch as their dreams turn into reality. <laughs> it's the final day and the upgrading process is almost complete. All that's left is for the kids to put the finishing touches for the experiential lounge, new computer lab, an expressive lounge can be officially opened. Ibu nak kau yang berubah dulu. Ibu nak kau belum kenyataan. Sekarang jadi kenyataan. Jadi di SOS ini ada perpustakaan baru, ada ruangan komputer baru, ada tempat melukis baru. Pokoknya semuanya baru-baru semua dah. Semuanya pokoknya buat teman-teman saya. Tapi bedanya saya ngatur. Kamu eh, kamu cak. Ngelapin bagian sini. Ini nih. Kamu jojong ngelapin. Fajar nyapu. Fajar nyapu situ tuh. Fajar setengah situ. Kamu Vina nyapu sebelah situ. Wih kotor. Oh, you're getting me. Thank you. Here too. Once we got all the chairs and table in there, it was like, we don't, you know, we could clean the floor a little bit. We could move some more in. They just said, okay, what can we do? Let's sit in. Let's experience this place. Wow, what's this? Okay, cool. Let's try and find a dinosaur. Everything was gathered around. They were mad. They were opening boxes, and I was just trying to, no, wait, wait, let's go. Okay, maybe we should just, oh. Go for it. Just enjoy yourself. Experience the lounge. Not every learner is the same. Young people come into a learning space with very diverse abilities. And so what makes this space so important is that the students have freedom to be curious and be imaginative and to explore different ideas. Then that creates not only really powerful learning, but a type of learning that students are much more able to internalise and then reapply later on in life. Hello. Hello. Mr. Ali. Hello, Mr. Adit. Mr. What's behind your back? What are we hiding? Can I see? Benny and Adit then came up to me and because um, I'd almost forgotten because so much has happened, but they, when they were drawing me the other night, you know, they were drawing their pictures, but they'd finished them. Those are awesome, guys. I like the helicopter. Purple. Saya um, mengasih gambaran. Eh, mengasih tahu kalau saya menggambar Kauli, saya panjang di sebelah. Gambar Mr. Oli, saya panjang di situ supaya bisa mengingat masa lalu atau mengingat Kauli. It was their little thank you for I mean you know, I didn't really do anything. I mean I came down and you know I helped and you know I played with them and stuff but they'd sort of connected with me you know we'd had this whole thing this we'd become our own little unit our own little family you guys are awesome ready here ready one two three ah. <laughs> okay let's go it all started as a seed of a dream a desire to help and make the world a better place but now the seed has taken firm root in reality the old underutilized library has been transformed into the experiential lounge, a place of learning where the kids can develop their minds in a fun and conducive environment. Next door, outdated virus-ridden hardware makes way for state-of-the-art machines with high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. A section of the kindergarten is now the expressive lounge, the village's new creative learning center fully equipped with artistic tools that let the kids indulge and express their creative side. With everything in place, it's time to hand over the spaces to the kids to make them their own. Smart, stop, stop! Bikin empat barisan cantik sini. Pokoknya, miss perpustakaan miss atau pokok ruangan komputer semuanya punya anak-anak. Jadi misalkan, tapi ada peraturannya, peraturannya yang ngebuat aku sama Benny. Kalau mereka masuk, sendal dirapihin, buka pintu pelan-pelan, nggak -pelan, langsung, duduk aku. Pelan-pelan, 
jalan 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 terus udah sampai dalam baru teman-teman mau masuk mau oh, ya masuk tangannya jangan gerata nggak tahu buat peraturan sendiri nggak bisa dilayani saya yakin pesan mereka semua pasti senang karena udah diubah dulu ini perpustakaannya jelek sederhana sekarang jadi uh kayak hotel. When we had this library, we were not very sure whether it was a library, it was a store, <laughs> it was a, an activity room because everything was done in one place. But by putting up in two different areas in an experiential launch the children would be able to develop their left brain, their cognitive ability, and uh, in the expressive launch, the children are able to develop their right brain, which is actually their creativity, their artistic uh, talents. Teman-teman lagi main di sini, kayaknya apa pada berisik. Kalau saya, Uh, belajar main gitar sih, tapi nggak nggak bisa bisa sakit jarinya. Saya lebih senangnya memajang gambar-gambar uh, atau menghibur anak-anak teman-teman. Masa so depannya mereka bisa menjadi cita-cita yang dia pikirkan dan kalau sudah begitu dia tidak akan melupakan tempat ini lagi tempat untuk mengungkapkan cita-citanya. I know that we've come here and uh, and we've helped them make changes and the changes you can see them you know there's new paint on the walls there's new floors there's instruments there's books but it's it's more than that it's the whole thing the fact that we came here the reason was because of these kids and what they wanted. The fact that everybody wanted to help, you know, there's so much more to it than just the physical. See you later as well, you crazy. See you, trouble. We are very happy and thankful to Asiata for the support with this wonderful project. And without any support, uh, it's almost impossible to run the project like SOS Children's Village in the world. Give me a hug as well. Big group hug. Oh. You guys are awesome. Saya hari ini ada sedih, ada gembiranya. Sedihnya itu ya, itu tinggal Kak, Kak Oli atau Mr. Oli. Saya sedih sekali ditinggal Mr. Oli. But what they've got here is something so positive. They're all brothers and sisters. They've all got their families. And it's one gigantic family. And uh, I felt like for just a few days, I've been part of it. I hope that Benny and Adit, they, they continue to dream big. And the kids here, they get to experience and express themselves. You know, I want to see Benny. I want to see his paintings. I want to have one of Benny's paintings on my wall one day. And I want Adit, I want Adit to either be a doctor or to just take over the world. And uh, I hope he remembers me when he's my overlord. 